Okay. See, in yesterday's concept, see, in yesterday's, in yesterday's class, we discussed the, okay, reports. We discussed the reports, right? Which report we discussed, the uh, interactive, interactive report, we discussed the at lines at, at line selection to discuss at line selection okay this event uh, just it's a heading only you don't need to worry this only heading okay say at line selection we discussed it in yesterday's class at line selection okay and uh, i didn't explain that debugging right i didn't explain the debugging right so see here i'm going to expand the debugging also now Okay, and one more thing, you please, you people please do the debugging. Okay, if you are okay with the debugging, then 100%, 100% you will learn the subject. If you're not debugging, you can't do. Debugging is very, very important for every coding technology. Today, first I will show you how to debug that at time selection. I will show you that uh, debugging of the at-line selection. Okay, then after we people will go. Then after we people will go for the at user command. And now see here, SE38. See, yesterday we discussed the uh, see here now this is the this is the program we discussed yesterday right see here we can't execute we can't execute okay i just click on the thousand yes thousand related data i got it on the secondary screen this is a screen index two okay this is a screen index one okay this is a screen index one okay Screen index one. Okay. Next step. See, and see, now let's we see the debugging. Now let's we see the debugging. Okay, go back. Just place the breakpoints. Where you need to place the breakpoint near the atline selection event here, in the case, you try to apply the breakpoint here. Just try to apply <clears throat> the break breakpoint here. Okay. <clears throat> See, once you apply the breakpoint, then click on execute button. Then click on execute button. Okay. One second. Akhil, my voice is clear. My side is clear. You can check your side. That's not my problem, your problem. Okay, now see here. See, I'm going to click on execute it. And see, now I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to double click on it. See, this, I'm going to double click on the company code 1000. Where you can see the company code 1000. Where you can see the company code 1000. You can see the company code. You can see the company code on this index on the on this screen and uh, this screen is what it's a screen number one that means uh, the index of the screen is one okay based on the index of this screen okay based on the index of this screen only on which record you click that record will be triggered see here i double click it i just double click it so see here here it is debugging so click on desktop three See, double click on system list index, double click. See here, the index is what here, one. The index is what here, one. Okay, I just clicked on the output screen of the classical report. That output screen index is what, one. Okay, so see here, based on the index number of the one only, okay, we people are going to read the record. Which record we see here, one. Index one is one. So this one will match with the van one. If it is matched, so which, on which record you click, double click here, thousand. Okay, thousand. If that thousand record, see, if that, uh, okay. Okay, see here. If you, see here, if you click on the thousand record, okay, 
if you click if you click on the thousand record okay so whether that complete code thousand is existed or not it will be checked in this internal table field bookets if it is existed that related data we people will get so you click on the internal table before debugging double click here there is no data before debugging there is no data okay now click on the f5 now you can see here how many records you have 16274 records okay on the company code you, you click on the company code 1000 for that company code 1000 there will be 16274 records you can see if you want to see clearly double click it here click on the table display see all these records all these are the okay records you can see okay all these records will display with the help of this loop here first of all see here here the condition is what uh, if internal table is not initial not initial means what uh, having data i already explained is not initial is nothing but having data is not initial is nothing but having data okay if this internal table having the data that means what uh, if the condition is true then this inside okay, if, if this condition is true then this right statement will trigger right the inside of the logic will be triggered this is only right statement for display purpose now this is the loop this loop will trigger how many records we need to print 16247 times so this loop will trigger okay that's it